Hi, in this video we are going to see the demonstration of closed loop control of tank level control process. In the control system lab you could have seen this process earlier. It is a very complex process with several interconnections. But in our uh, experiment our focus is limited only to the control of tank level in this single cylindrical tank. Okay. Uh, the input to the tank is from a pump pump 1 which is located at the bottom and in the bottom if you see we have a reservoir so from the reservoir the water is uh, pumped into the tank and the speed of the pump is adjusted by adjusting the frequency of the motor driving it through a variable frequency drive in order to get the level of the tank, there is a level transmitter available which is basically a pressure transmitter which can be converted into a level transmitter and uh, this uh, uh, level transmitter is interfaced with a lab view uh, using a Modbus protocol and through lab view you will be able to send the control signal to the VFD using the same protocol. Actually in back end a PLC is available and uh, PLC will get the data from uh, the level transmitter and it will store it in a memory. Similarly, uh, PLC will read uh, data from a memory and it will put it into a variable frequency drive. Okay. The kind of uh, information transfer is 4 to 20 milliampere analog instrumentation standard. That is 4 milliampere stands for 0 percentage of your process variable and 20 milliampere stands for 100 percentage of your process variable or input. Uh, so, uh, if the level of uh, uh, the tank is uh, 100 percentage, then uh, in PLC you will read 20 milliampere. Okay. Actually, the PLC is in back of uh, this panel. You will not be able to see it unless you go to the back. Uh, but uh, for the lab experimentation point of view, everything you can do it using lab view. So, PLC also support this industrial data network in that we are using a specific module called Modbus. And through uh, uh, Modbus, uh, we are trying to read the data from the PLC and we will write it into the PLC. So, PLC in, in turn, it will uh, push the data into VFT. Similarly, it will load the data from level transmitter and uh, store it in a memory. So, virtually, we are using a PLC as a data acquisition card. Most of our control logic will be run using lab. Okay. So, for the sake of reducing the time of the experiment, lab view development process is... Uh, uh, not to be done by you. Uh, the LabVIEW uh, program has already been developed. It is a simple program. If you are interested, you come and contact me. I will explain you in detail. And uh, if you click on run button, the process will be running. Okay. So initially, uh, while uh, starting the plant, uh, you actually will be running it in open loop. That means any value you enter, that will be uh, directly given into the VFT trade. So as of now in the manipulated variable percentage I have entered 100 percentage. So 100 percentage corresponds to 50 hertz in the variable frequency drive and the pump is open, uh, running and uh, the water is being pushed into the tank. It is a peristatic pump. Once you start it, it will take few seconds for the water to flow. Okay, now the water has started flowing and uh, you see the level of the water is rising. Now in lab view, so once the data is available, here you can see the level of uh, the tank in percentage. Okay, I think as of now the level is around 60 percentage. Okay, let me switch it to PID control. My set point let it be 60 percentage. And uh, if I click on this PID control button, now the control operation will be in closed loop taken care by the PID controller. You can see that the manipulator variable is reduced to zero by the PID controller that you can see in VFT also. Okay. So once the value is reduced, uh, correspondingly PID will come into picture and it will automatically adjust it. See, this is comparatively a slow process when compared with an electrical system. So now you see uh, the PID is operating. Uh, so we need to properly tune in the values of KC, T, and TD. 
So that is the actual part we will be doing in this experiment. Okay, just for demonstration purpose, uh, let me enter the value of Kc equal to 1 and Ta equal to 1 minute. VAD should be able to control the plant. Uh, let me pause the video for a few seconds till it reaches the final value. Later we will discuss it. Now, uh, you can see that uh, the reference value is being tracked by proportional plus integral controller. We have seen uh, one of the tracking response. Let me increase the set point by 10 percentage. Let me put it to 70. So before that, let us also see it in the actual tank. You can see that uh, the uh, level of the tank is around 60. Now, uh, let us increase the reference to 70. Here you can see that once your reference set point has been increased, your controller is increasing your input and uh, slowly your uh, process will uh, try to reach your set point. Okay. Once again, I am passing this video. I will uh, show it once it has settled. Now you can see the uh, tracking response of the PA, PA controller. The set point set is 70 and uh, our controller is able to track the set point and there is a very small overshoot I think it is neglected. If you see the manipulated variable that is uh, the uh, percentage of frequency sent to the pump okay, it is also gradually varying. Okay, this is the purpose we use uh, the AD control. So the next thing is I am going to provide a disturbance and PAD or PAD or PA controller should be able to reject the effect of disturbance. So for that, what I am going to do is slightly open another wall. So because of that, now because of that, the level of the tank will reduce and some portion of water is moving to other tank and it is flowing down into the reservoir. Okay. Uh, so your level has to reduce and your PA controller has to correspondingly increase the frequency or speed of the pump in order to achieve your desired set value. So once again I am passing this video. So once it has settled, I will continue this video. Uh, welcome back. Now you can uh, see that the PA controller has correspondingly raised its input in order to track your reference value. What we have done, we have applied an external disturbance. You see this disturbance is available here and uh, the water from the second tank is also flowing down into the reservoir. Now what has done, what has happened, our uh, PA controller has correspondingly adjusted its manipulated variable in such a way that your reference signal is tracked. So we have seen both set point tracking as well as disturbance rejection. So this is the purpose of this experiment. Thank you.